Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spazzards. I'm Simone, I'm bringing you guys a daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you stop what you're doing. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe and keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you turn your notification bell so you don't miss a single video because the videos are coming back like boom, 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 boom. I done fell off, but I'm back on. I'm back right. So turn your notification bell so you don't miss out. Well, none of this moment of Swizzle, which drops and lives because we're going live more, baby. We live, baby. Yeah, so if you don't want to miss out on our lives, make sure you got your notification bells on so you guys know. Ping, boom, it's on live. Let me get it. Let me have it. Let me join. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to uh, shop the official Simone with the Spizz or Smurge collection. Get you Simone with the Sports Classic Tee or the Simone with the Sports Wavy. Ooh, if you a fly girl like me, get the Wavy Tee. Bars. Also, make sure you check out the links to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel and to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, reporters, former and current athletes chop it up with us on the pod. So if you don't want to miss out on that conversation, make sure you subscribe to that. A mouthful, a mouthful of begging, y'all. A mouthful of begging. But now let's get to the video. So today we're going to talk about how the Eagles could land Jamar Chase. Obviously, I done did a lot of rapping and did a lot of capping on this channel saying we have to go cornerback number one our, with our number, our first round pick. The very first pick I said our biggest need is outside corner, which is still, it still rings true. Our biggest need is outside corner. Our biggest need, that our next biggest need is a wide out. Yes, obviously, it's more flashier for the fans, more flashier for the team to go wide receiver than it is to go defense, right? Of course. The only scenario that's going to make me pissed in this first round of the draft, if we go defensive end. Or if we go any other position that's not wide receiver or, that, or that's not corner. Okay? Okay. If we're drafting anybody other than Patrick Sertain, J.C. Horn, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, or Jamar Chase, I'm going to be pissed. Period. And y'all going to hear from me. Okay? So, this scenario is if we want to get Jamar Chase. Obviously, when we were stuck at number six, when we had the number six pick in this draft, our guy was Jamar Chase, Jamar Chase, or Kyle Pitts, just depending on who the Cara, who the Atlanta Falcons selected. We were either going to get Kyle Pitts or Jamar Chase. We were picking good, living good. We had all our options ahead of us. We just had our picking that whatever we wanted. Now we're at 12. It's just like, who going to fall? Like, now we're in a situation of who going to fall. Instead of who should we choose, we're now at who's going to fall. But there's a scenario where we could trade up and get our guy, Jamar Chase. Now, see some people around whispering around that, you know, we could be getting traded up for Jamar Chase or Devonta Smith. So, what's going around the grapevine is that the Eagles might be interested in trading up. Now, who we're interested in trading up for is the big question. It could be, we could be interested in trading up for Pitts. We could be interested in trading up for Smith. We could be interested in trading up for Chase. We could be interested in trading up for a quarterback. Now, who we're trying to trade up for, I don't know. But in this scenario, it's if we're trying to trade up for Jamar Chase. Chase. Obviously, if we get Jamar Chase, a big body wide receiver, a true wide out, a guy who's going to make big explosive plays for us and be a guaranteed catch, guaranteed hands for our guy Jalen Hurts, that would be ecstatic, super amazing. Even if we ended up with Kyle Pitts, if we traded up for Kyle Pitts, I would love that for us. I would love that for us, sweeties. And then with our 37th overall pick, if we don't have to give up, if we'll still have that number 37 overall pick in the second round if we're trading up that's the big question because we're trading up with a team like the falcons they want the loot they already said give me the loot for this pick so i don't know what our second round pick situation is going to look like if we trade up in the first round and that's where things get murky because if we trade up if we draft up for jamar chase we draft up let's say the number four with the falcons if we tra- draft up to number four that second round pick is gone. That 37th overall pick is gone. And then it's like, okay, let's say we trade to four, we get Jamar Chase. Then if we're not picking again until the third round, we're not getting a starting outside corner in the third round. So that's just the gamble of trading up. If they're going to win our 37th, we going to need that 37th overall pick to get our starting outside corner. If we trade up for an offensive weapon, because obviously we're not trading up for a defensive weapon. We're, if we're staying at, if we're trading up, it's for somebody on offense. 
Because at 12, we can get J.C. Horn, we can get Patrick Sertain. Period. We don't need to trade up for a defensive piece. If we're trading up, that means we're trading up for offensive piece, whether it's Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Devonta Smith, or a quarterback. So if we lose out on that second round pick, we can't trade up to a position where we have to give up our 37th overall pick because who we going to have start an outside corner? So the Falcons, I'm starting to think, is off the table because if we trade up with the Falcons, they're going to want that 37th overall pick, okay? So the only option for us to trade up with is a team like the Panthers. I think they're picking eight or nine. I want to say they're eight. Um, so it'll be a team like the Panthers because, I mean, if we're moving up four spots and they're moving back four spots, that's not giving up as, we won't have to give up as much. We might not have to give up that second round pick, but a team like the Panthers might not be interested in trading up anymore because now that they got, um, they might not be interested in trading back anymore because now that they got, um, Sam Darnold, you know, of course they want to stay at number eight and, and get him a, 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 a Waddle or Smith or whoever falls to number eight. So, who would the, I don't know how Training Up is looking for the Eagles anymore, guys. Now that I'm doing this video and talking out loud, like, I don't know if Training Up is an option because will the Panthers want to trade back? That's the big question. When you want to, you got Sam Darnold, when you want to get him a star receiver? Okay, who else might be interested in trading back? The Broncos, the Broncos are a team that might be interested in trading back because, heck, the Broncos need everything. Okay, they don't even know if Drew Locke a lot. So they need to get more picks and recoup and trading back for the Broncos. I think the Broncos would be our best bet. Because if the Broncos trade back from number 9 to number 12, we wouldn't have to give up as much. We might be able to hold on to our second round pick. My biggest thing, guys, if we're trading up, we still need that 37th overall pick. So we can't give up that 37th overall pick because we need to use that pick to get best corner available. You see what I'm saying? So the only situation I see right now of us getting Jamar Chase, a smart situation. We can't give up our second round pick for anybody, guys. I'm telling you guys, because we need that pick to get best corner available if we go offense in the first round. So let me tell you guys, because like I said, y'all say Howie don't listen. So if, if Howie does trade away our number 37th overall pick to get an offensive weapon and we end up having to pick our corner in the third round, a corner who might not be ready day one, we in a boatload of trouble. Hashtag boatload of trouble down low if you made it this far in the video. So, in my, if I'm trading up to get a Jamar Chase or a Devonta Smith, then we got to trade up with the Broncos. As long as we're picking before Dallas and we're picking before the Giants, we'll be able to get Devonta Smith at least. I feel like Jamar Chase will go before Devonta Smith. Our biggest threat is maybe the Broncos wanting to get another receiver and then the Giants picking a receiver and boom, boom, that's Smith and Waddle right off the board. So, basically, I know I said a lot and I kind of went off on a little tangent. Basically, this is what I'm trying to say. That number four pick from the Falcons is off limits for us. This is the summer. You know when you're in class and teacher give you the final wrap up the summer? That number four overall pick from the Falcons is off limits because the Falcons are going to want an arm, a leg, a wing, and our second round pick. That's off limits. Because if we trade up to number four and have to give up our second round pick, when are we going to get our starting outside corner? The third round? Heck no. So the Falcons are off the table. The Panthers are looking like they're off the table because they got... They might not be off the table, but they're looking like they... If we want to trade up to the, the Panthers, they might want that second round pick from us. If the team wants the second round pick, we can't do it. The Broncos, I think, might be our best bet because the Broncos are closer to our pick and we'll be able to get Smith... We'll be able to get Smith, at least, I feel like, with the number nine pick. So let me know what you guys think. I know this is about us trading up for Jamar Chase, but I don't think trading up for Jamar Chase is a realistic scenario unless y'all are willing to give up that second round pick, which I am not willing to give it up. So we might just have to sayonara to Jamar Chase. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not willing to give up that second round pick for nothing. 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 Maybe. Mm. Let me know what you guys think. I just feel like if we trade up, that means we're going offense. And if we trade up and have to give away a second round pick, when the heck are we going to get our cornerback? Number 70? Who that? Who at 70 that's going to be starting, ready to lock down CD Lamb, 
Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup and gonna be ready to lock down Julio Boo -boo, Calvin Boo -boo, Russell Gage and Boo -boo, Cal Pitts with it so I can select him who will be that guy at 70 let me know so it look like the Eagles need to stay put or trade with the Broncos. Jamar Chase probably off the board. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep rocking with me. Check out my merch. Check out my podcast. Check out buying me a coffee. You know, doing all that. You know, I got to do my begging at the end. Bye!